Hey everybody, it's me, Bengal the Assassin, or as the game likes to say, Ben the Ass. As, not ass. I did not say ass. Um, here we are for part six of the Legend of Zelda Ocarina Challenge. And yeah, it's um, it's starting to get a little interesting. There's just a couple more little bland, boring parts, and then everything's just uphill from there. Um, things to talk about. Well, today I had an awesome breakfast. I had... A great cup of tea. I know it doesn't sound very uh, masculine, but I'm telling you, man, tea is the tea is the new stuff. Tea is um, tea is coming back. It can be very popular. Uh, we also got. Um, I also had some bagels today. Um, cinnamon raisin. I put some extra cinnamon on it. And butter. Oh, the best in the morning. Love it. Um, so yeah, just things to talk about during this episode. We're going through the Zora's Fountain for the first time in reverse, because usually the first time you come here and what the hell am I doing? Oh my god, you're owned. Come on, get out of there. What am I doing? What am I doing? Don't climb up that. Don't climb. Oh my. Oh, come on. Come on, Link. I don't know who was controlling this character, but it does, does not make any sense. Okay, so back to what I was saying. We're going back through the Zora's Fountain, and because we skipped the second dungeon, I did not have any bombs. So as you can see, the rock wall just on the left over there is still there. And so, one of the things I need to do for the Uber Challenge is I need to do a little glitch that's incredibly hard to get into the Shadow Temple without the song. And in order to do that, I kind of have to use one of these magic beans, which I just bought, in order to get on the box and kind of just, you know, do the glitch. We'll get to that when we get, when we get there. And yeah, it's probably the second toughest thing I ever do in this, in this um, challenge anyway. So yeah, as you can see, the rocks are still there. Um, usually you would have to blow them up in order to get past. And so now, the next thing on the list is to go to basically Zelda's castle and uh, le learn Zelda's lullaby. Because that is actually one of the toughest... Uh, or not the toughest, I mean one of the most... Yeah, the toughest to not get insane from. Um, it's the one we play the most and it's the one we need the, need the most throughout the dungeons. So it's nighttime, and because I don't have the sun song yet, I'm probably going to have to wait in order for the sun to come back up so I can get back into the castle. Um, so just a quick note, I know I skipped that tree earlier from where the rocks were, because I know there's a gold skeleton there, but I guess I forgot when I was playing this. I need six, I need ten gold skeletons until I'm good to, until I'm good to get the adult's wallet, which I need in order to buy the big horn, so, not big horn, sorry, the giant sword. Because when I become an adult, I have to break it, and then that becomes my main weapon. Yeah, it's crazy. It's um, I think it's as tough as the sword I'm using right now, the Kokiri sword. So here I am, just passing time, waiting for the sun to rise. And uh, yeah, I try doing some fancy moves, sidestepping, jumping, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Let's see here. Oh, I think I know what I'm gonna do. I'm going to get these two guys lined up and let's see what magic I can pull off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Two skeletons, one sword. Bounce. Go wow, wow. If you know what I'm saying. All right. So it's finally daytime. So I'm going to climb up this chain and just grab some money. I think I'm just. I don't even know why I'm grabbing money. Just because I don't even know. Because I need 200 eventually, but whatever. Easy money right there. I remember when I was a kid going into that other room. Just breaking all the pots so I can get the Hylian shield. And here's a random red-headed uh, ranch girl. Which actually is uh, probably the only time you're ever going to see her. Let's see here. Oh, her name's Malon. I forgot about that. So yeah, you talk to her, blah, 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 and you go back into toward the castle. And, oh yeah. So, oh yeah, the owl guy. That's what we have to do. Talk to him. Oh boy. Hey, bend the ass this way. The princess is inside the castle just ahead. Be careful not to get caught by the guards. Ho, 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 hoot. Blah, 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 blah. Do you want to hear what I said again? Good. Because I do not want to tell you again, okay? Bye now. I'm going away. Alrighty. 
So now that's over no done and over with. I have to whack the tree, dodge that guy, and get number seven here. Come on. Yeah, jump slash. Nice. The Zelda bow. All right, so now I go back outside, backstepping, because it's supposed to be a little bit faster. And look, Malone's gone. She just teleported. And what do you know, she managed to sneak by me, like ninja style. It's creepy, I know. I don't even get it. So, she asks you, she asks me, I should say, to go find her dad. And in order to do that, she gives you a big fat egg. Yes, I just spoiled it for you. Yes. I just had to jump to it because it's not just any egg, it's a weird egg. And I have no idea what's weird about it. It looks like a pretty normal egg with some sticks around it. Which I guess is supposed to be hay, but I don't know how you're supposed to carry that. It's not like it's not like she gave you a box for it or anything. You just have to carry the egg. Like, you know what's climbing and jumping this guy does? I don't think we're the good enough person to keep it with, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, so whatever. I'm just going to keep walking and let's see how this goes. This is the toughest part right here, where the guards are getting past this batch. And there he is. He's not looking my way. And somehow he catches me. What the hell? Oh my god. You want to fight, guard? I would seriously fight you. Okay, you know what? That's it. Attempt number two. Let's do this. Okay. Going up there. Okay. Yeah, getting past that set of guards is the hardest part. Everything else is just easy cake. Um, there we go. Jump, jump. Whoa, somersault. I'm telling you, egg's not a good thing to be carrying right now. Okay, so now I'm trying to be a little bit more careful by going over to the right more, and it looks like I got past him. Sweet. Sweet stuff. Okay. So I'm walking, and none of the guards see me from plain sight. They just have a certain field of view, and, you know, not at all notice the green guy with the brown shield on his back. Just does not make any sense to anybody, I guess. So. And then the gossip stone, stip, skipping that guy. And then I go in there. Alright. And then I'm randomly collecting money. I wish I collected money from a fountain like that. I didn't even he's not even using his hands to pick it up. He's just he's just floating. Not even touching the bottom. Okay, so for some reason I for some reason, I thought there was a gold skull to there, but no. And now it's nighttime, and now I have to wait all the way until daytime before I can use the egg to hatch this guy. I mean, wait, what? Use the cuckoo that comes from the egg to wake up Talon, which is Malon's father. So here I am just lining up the boxes, because I'm going to have to use that to get to the castle. And yes, we're already eight minutes through this. That went faster than I thought. So yeah, just thought I'd mention one thing here. I'm, uh... <laughs> got stuck there. One thing I'll mention is my buddy, um... Not my buddy. Well, he's my buddy, but he doesn't really know me. Well, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Okay. <coughs> There's a guy I was following on YouTube, and he was doing the exact same challenge as this. And, um, he was doing it around the same time I was trying this out for the first time. Um... And I, like I said, I managed to finish it for the first time, but I want to record it for the second time. Anyway, this guy's name is Dark Mage Forty Two Thirty, and he does a lot of great let's plays, and he's you know a lot of he's a fun guy to watch. So uh, yeah, check his channel out. Um, I'll try and put a link in YouTube or this video. Never really done that before. We'll see how it goes. And yes, it's almost daytime. Awesome. So yeah, just check check that guy's uh, stuff out. It's really cool. He's been doing a lot of Minecraft stuff, which has been great because he's been doing it with his uh, his buddies, his friends. And it's cool to see people like that have fun, right? Not like me where I'm just by myself. It's kind of weird, kind of lonely. But it's okay. Doing a Let's Play. That's kind of how it is sometimes. Yep, it's Talon. Yep, yep, yep. I know, I know, I know. You should probably go running because your daughter is angry as hell and she's going to kill you. Totally going to kill you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Messed up real bad, man. Great father you are. Yep, she's definitely going to let you have it. Yep. 
She never, never, ever happy, that chick. Okay, so now that he's finally out of the way, I can put these boxes back. Alrighty. Okay. And bam. So just a side note here, this is the second last episode before I do the cuckoo jump, which is, in my opinion, one of the hardest things to do in this Uber challenge. You know, last time it took me a couple months to do it. So I'm hoping that it won't take me a couple months and it'll only take me like a week or two, hopefully, if I'm dedicated enough. So basically, but basically in the next episode, we go through the rest of the castle. We go to Zelda and we f you learn the Zelda's lullaby. And then I make it all the way to Gerudo Valley, Gerudo Valley. And that's where I'm going to start the cuckoo jump. So, yeah, that is going to be some crazy stuff. So, yeah, I appreciate any feedback or anything people can tell me to make this episode better. And just rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a good one.